Hey guys, welcome back. Today I was doing a little maintenance on my UV sterilizer. This is an Emperor Aquatics 25 watt uh, smart UV sterilizer. And so I've had this thing running for the past uh, year or so, um, actually a little bit over a year. And according to the manufacturer's recommendation, the UV bulb should replace, be replaced after every 13 months or 9,000 hours of continual use. And I've just about, um, I've just hit that mark. So uh, I was going to go ahead and replace the bulb. I've ordered a new one from Bulk Reef Supply. Here it is here. Um, it's important to uh, follow those recommendations because these bulbs, just like T5s and any other type of bulb like this, uh, will start to lose their spectrum and become less effective over time. And the whole point of having the UV sterilizer, uh, for me anyway, that was to help prevent any parasitic uh, outbreaks, you know, ick, velvet, anything like that. And they also do a good job of um, cutting down any bacterial blooms, uh, anything like that. So if you don't have a, uh, a bulb putting out the proper spectrum, uh, you're really not going to have the effectiveness that maybe you should. So I went ahead, uh, disconnected everything. I've drained the water out of here. Um, and I was going to go ahead and start replacing the bulb and just want to show you uh, something that I've noticed on here. So this is the quartz tube where the bulb goes in. Uh, but can you see this? Half of the tube is basically covered, uh, or calcification, you know, it's covering this quartz tube. Uh, so apparently I have waited far too long to do any sort of maintenance on my UV sterilizer. And, you know, at best I'm getting only 50%... Um, light uh you know emission from this tube because the other half is you know, basically blocked uh, so what i'm going to need to do is um you know, make a note for myself so maybe after every four months or so i'm going to open this up uh you know check the tube clean it off um and make sure i don't let it go this long uh, because i don't know how many months this thing's been running uh, like this but i'm going to go ahead i can clean this off with some vinegar um, get this nice and clear and get this thing running at 100 percent again so just a little reminder, if you're running a UV sterilizer, you may want to go uh, check on it to make, your, make sure yours isn't in such a condition as mine is because, um, you know, at some point this thing be basically becomes useless. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, clean this off and let's see how it looks. So another thing I wanted to mention before I start uh, cleaning that quartz tube uh, was when I did uh, drain this out, I did notice that there was quite a bit of detritus collected inside of this tube. So I took this outside with the hose. I've squirted it out, cleared it out pretty good. Uh, so this will be another reason why I should do some more regular maintenance uh, on the UV sterilizer, um, aside from checking on the tube to make sure it's not blocked. I can also go ahead and um, clean this out to get any detritus out of there because I don't know what effect that may have on nitrates or anything, but it's certainly not good to leave uh, any detritus sitting anywhere in your tank, and certainly uh, this was a place where it was collecting. So just uh, another tip, and then I'm going to go ahead and uh, clean out the quartz tube. So before I get started, just want to give you another look at this, some better lighting. Uh, as you can see, I mean, it's almost like a layer of cement is stuck on this tube. So definitely let it get far, go far too long. So I'm going to use some vinegar and some warm water and big shout out to Billy Pipes who was here this week replaced the hot water heater in my house so I've got the piping hot water again let's put some vinegar in there close that off and yeah, it should be good to go so I went ahead and just um, Sort of wetting down the uh, calcification with the solution I just mixed up, and almost immediately, it's uh, you can see it's just starting to to come off. So, a big piece of it right here just flakes right off. So, should only take a few minutes to uh, get any of the pieces that are still stuck on off of here. But you can see it comes off pretty easy using the vinegar solution. So, that's good. So I'll finish this up and then we'll get it put back together and I'll have this thing running 100% again. So 
With all that done, the UV sterilizer is now put back together and running at peak performance. Got the new bulb in there, got it all cleaned out. Um, so I should be getting, you know, 100% efficiency out of this uh, for the next few months. And, you know, the last thing I needed to do um, was just on my Apex. Uh, there is the option for a calendar. They got a feature here. Focus. And I'm just going to give myself a reminder. So in four months time, which would be in August, uh, I remind myself to clean out the UV sterilizer. And I set this up as a recurring event. So every four months, uh, Apex will start reminding me uh, it's time to clean that out again. And I've got another one set for uh, replacing the bulb in 13 months. So hopefully, uh, you know, take that as a lesson. You know, I learned it myself not to let this go too long. So hopefully this was helpful. And if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, uh, please hit the subscribe button. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.